Welcome back to the channel everyone. This is Roni from Traveling Trekkies and boy do I have some exciting news for you guys today. If you have not figured out by now through our Traveling Trekkies Facebook page, our Traveling Trekkies Instagram channel, we have a new addition. And remember when we said that hey, at the end of the product review for the Snap and Zap mirror extenders that we had a big announcement? Well, that big announcement is we actually had an R we actually have an RV now. Yes, Traveling Trekkies has an RV. So, you know we call this the GMC Yukon Denali, we call it the Enterprise. So we need a good name for our RV. So if you have some good names, comment in the description below. Anyway, so check this out guys. One of the things when you first buy an RV and that we are learning is they give you a starter pack. But thank goodness that we have been watching guys like Keep Your Daydream, Wonderful Weekenders, Changing Lanes RV, Big Truck Big RV, and um, The Getaway Couple, and for years, and I really do mean years before I bought an RV, I've watched all these different channels in one way or another, and they've had great product reviews, getting me mentally prepared for getting an RV. And my wife and I have been kind of going back and forth of what do we actually need. So let me show you when you buy an RV, what our dealership gave us as a starter pack. So it says, congratulations, right? You got your first RV. water hose, sewer line, water pressure regulator, electrical plug adapter, leveler, some stuff for our sewer tank, and a whopping four rolls of toilet paper. And they tell us happy camping. So nonetheless, we know we're smart enough. There are a few things that you need more than that to ensure that you have a successful RV camping trip, okay? We took our first trip to the Guadalupe River State Park in beautiful San Antonio, Texas, up in the kind of the hill country area. I will show you a little bit of video about that later on. Um, I'm trying to keep this video pretty short because this really is more or less a video about the essentials that you're gonna need. Um, but nonetheless, and I'm also gonna do a video about towing with a Yukon, okay? Um, there's so many more dynamics when you are towing with an SUV that uh, we have to be more conscious of, I believe, than for those guys who are towing with the Ford F350, 250. Um, so I'm not necessarily wanting to turn my channel and our channel into just about the Yukon, but we will highlight a, quite a few things. And I've got a good video coming out about the equalizer hitch that we have on here and how to get it installed properly. Um, it was very interesting about the dealership not understanding that this truck has um, auto level which comes with the magnetic ride control so that plays a big important role in actually how you get the equalizer hitch to work so I've got some footage for that they'll put up for the channel a little bit later anyway so we're gonna get to the product reviews about some other stuff first or well, actually I'm not even gonna do a full product review I'm just gonna show you what we have those other guys who I mentioned they've done a much better job of actually showing you how some of these products work so we basically just kind of adapted and I'll tell you right now if you have an Amazon affiliate link and we like your channel and we're subscribed to you and you're talking about a product chances are if we understand it's gonna work for us we're gonna hit that link okay so uh, yes we hit the link and Amazon came in with a bunch of boxes to our house from some of these other folks who I just mentioned okay so let's go on over let's check out the items that we bought from Amazon and other places based on what we've learned that would be ne necessary for us to have a good camping experience. Let's go check it out. Okay. This is what we purchased for our newbie experience based on what we've learned. All right. So it might seem like a little bit of overkill, but here's what we've learned by watching all of you guys out there on YouTube who continue to put up these great videos about RV experience. The more prepared you are for the stressful things that will happen, and I do mean will happen, 
then the less stressed you will be when those events come up. So thank you to all those guys. Thank you to Keep Your Daydream. Thank you to, to the Getaway Couple. Thank you to Wonderful Weekenders. Thank you to Big Truck RV. Thank you to Changing Lanes RV. Because we listened, we purchased, and hopefully as we continue journeying in our RV, or even sometimes we won't take our RV, because if you remember, our channel is about all things Texas and beyond. So some of our trips will simply be us just going out and a day trip. But for those longer trips, and again, folks, I will tell you, we have researched RVs for at least five, six years. And if you don't believe me, wait till I release the video about the interior and exterior walk around for our brand new RV. And you get to talk to our sales guy. And he'll tell you, I've been at this for a while, waiting for the right moment, okay? Anyway. In the meantime, so let's go over a few of these things that I purchased. I won't go into a full product description, but this is what we purchased. So hopefully, if we come up with some problems, we'll be well prepared. Starting with the Rhino Flex Drain, we got this one because from what I understand, some of the campsites, you never know what type of adapter you're gonna need. And I do have some new hoses that we bought as well. And so we'll get into that here in just a few more minutes. But uh, for example, here at the Guadalupe River State Park, we don't have sewer hookups right at our site. So we have to go to the dump station on the way out. So you never know. Um, but we believe we'll be well prepared when that happens, okay? Hi, B. That's the beauties of out here in the nature, right? Okay, so we do have a air pump. We keep reading about and keep hearing about that check your tire pressure, check your tire pressure, check your tire pressure. And we checked it before we left the house. We do have a bigger tire pump at the house, but for something portable. Um, this one comes in a bag, really nice bag. I know it's not the Vi Air brand. Everybody keeps raving about, but we bought what we could buy based on our budget. Give us a break. It does come in this nice box. It says vehicle tire inflator pump. It comes with all a bunch of cool stuff, okay? We do also have just one of these, just to make sure that you can check your heat, um, check your registers, all that stuff, make sure things are working. This is just an extender. On our GMC Yukon, we have a 12 volt plug in the back, but in case we have a low tire pressure and we can't get this uh, air pump to reach all the way to the back of the RV, this is gonna help out. We went back and forth on how to deal with propane and how to understand if your propane levels are low. And we saw that you could buy a regulator, but then there was a whole bunch of reviews on Amazon where the regulators were having issues and people were losing propane. I don't know, it went on and on and on. So we decided to go with a kind of like a Bluetooth style monitoring system. I'm not sure if this is going to be the right choice, but this is what we started off with, or we are starting off with, okay? And accurately measures levels of OLP. There's some good reviews out on YouTube about this system. It seems to work pretty accurate. So um, if time permits, when I install it, I'll do a video about it. Um, but again, there's some videos out there already. Of course, the dog bone adapter. Well, we're a 30 amp RV and we have a 30 amp site so we don't need to use this today. We do have kind of like a little bit of a makeshift leveler, leveler that I'll put on. And funny story is we pulled into our site last night. It was dark. Um, a lot of things happened so we didn't get a chance to leave on time. And yeah, I wish I would have already had this installed. Newbie. But one of the sites I talked about, they reviewed the Level Mate Pro, so I'm excited to actually get this installed and see how this works for us in the future. Absolute necessity, necessity is the uh, water pressure regulator. They gave us one in our starter pack, but what I read, and thanks to you guys out there on YouTube, get one with the gauge, and so I'll show you our hookup here in a second, um, what our site looks like so far, okay? Just some washers. I haven't had to put this in use, but Big Truck Big RV, he really talked about having a system where if you break down and you don't want to have to use your lug wrench, um, this Kino thin wall socket impact socket wrench, apparently you will speed through taking your tires off, getting new tires back on and getting you going. So uh, thanks for that review. 
Uh, do have an X-lock chalk, all right? I'll show you that we actually have that on to keep the trailer stabilized, all right? Got the old handy DeWalt here just to make sure that we can uh, zip those scissor jacks up faster, okay? Couldn't read enough stuff about get a charger, I'm sorry, not a charger, a surcharge, excuse me, a surge protector, okay? So we put that for, on first thing was when we pulled in last night. Some zip ties, good old bag for the DeWalt. You guys out there talking about tire pressure monitor, okay? We came out here, luckily we are only about an hour and a half from the, our home, so uh, the RV is new. Um, we checked our tire pressure before we left, but I am excited about installing this and giving you guys a review about the TPMS. DeWalt came with a whole bunch of different things. You never know what you're going to use, so there are a whole bunch of different bits. One of the first things I did install when I bought the RV was this uh, wireless observation system by Furion. I'm not sure if all RVs come pre-installed, I mean, I'm sorry, pre-wired, but ours did, and we got this on Amazon, and it has been a godsend already. Just being able to back up into an RV park or when we put the RV in storage, um, it really helps, especially when my wife is trying to direct me in. I can see what's happening behind the RV itself, so that quick connect system Furion backup camera and I'll try to talk about it but we actually got the model that came with the housing along with the camera so that was actually a better buy because if there's anything ever wrong with a pre-installed housing I actually already have one here if I need to use it of course you can't go wrong with the good old off some lamps road flare kit gloves that's what's on the table I will show you a few other things that are not on the table here shortly and then I'll just do a quick uh, walk around of our setup so far all right what you can't see at the end of the table are the Lynx levelers Anderson leveling blocks Inside the tub are all the Camco hoses, and I'll show you guys that in a second. If you're wondering what the yellow rods are, they're called hitching rods. One of the problems I have trying to, again, this is what we're talking about with an SUV, is looking out of the back window. And even though we have a rear backup camera, you can't necessarily see your ball hitch mount correctly because we don't have guidelines. We have outer guidelines, but unlike the Ford and the GMC and the Dodge that will give you a center guideline, I don't have that. So what happens is the hitching rods creates that center guideline for me. And then I'll do a video if you guys want, or I'll even do it just to kind of show you how the hitching rods work. It's a great little product, especially if you guys have SUVs and you're having a hard time seeing out of your back window. As you can see, we have the Rhino sewer hoses. Apparently the quality is a lot better. We also went with the Rhino Clear flush rinser. And we also have the Rhino hoses and their version of the adapter. Just to ensure that when we pull up to the dump station that we don't have any problems. We have our X chocks in place. Our site here is pretty level, but nonetheless, it does help keep the trailer a little bit more stable. This is the docking station on the 2400BH Grand Design. As you can see, we have our water already set up. There's our hose if we wanted to use the spigot mount. I'm not, sorry, not spigot mount, but the uh, nozzle. And if you follow this hose all the way over, you can see it's attached to the water filtration system. 
and there is our surge protector in place again all items that we purchased and another thing we bought too is it's not necessarily needed but the extra added just a little bit of tiny support I mean, not a whole lot of pressure on the slide just helps it make sure just make sure that the extra weight when we're sitting down in the bunk and the weight that's on the uh, items that we have on the inside don't mess up the actual slide system okay guys I hope you enjoyed our video about RV essentials from our perspective traveling Trekkies we are brand new to RVing so we are by far not even close to being the experts that's why we rely on you guys out there in YouTube so for all of you guys who are making great videos great content please keep it up YouTube is so chock full of information to help people from making pitfall mistakes and again what you saw us buy was based on recommendations from you guys out there um, so please stay forward and continue to support our channel hit that like button hit that subscribe button spread the word again traveling trekkies we're not abandoning San Antonio we're not abandoning Texas we're actually expanding our reach to be able to go to places and not necessarily always have to come back the same day we we actually travel a lot more than we have videos posted and and I'll say something about that because believe it or not everybody you see on YouTube is there's a 24-hour period of life and what you see is an edited portion of their life and so not every time we we don't always shoot a video every time my wife and I go somewhere sometimes it's just our time but then there are times we go somewhere and you know what we want to show you our experience we want to educate you about something that we've learned um, it just makes the world a better place so we wanted to expand our reach just to be able to get out and it would, this RV purchase wasn't just about traveling trekkies like I said before this was five to six years in the making we've always wanted one um, we just didn't know what we were going to do like many of you guys out there you buy an RV based on what you have trust me I went through that am I going to get a Denali 2500 a GMC Sierra a Silverado 2500 am I going to get a Ford F250 you know do I want a fifth wheel it was so mind-boggling I think I used to drive my wife nuts about it and who knows maybe one day this travel trailer we might outgrow this travel trailer and we do want a fifth wheel but we'll see when that time comes but right now we just want to enjoy getting out and just meeting new people developing new content and helping this channel grow to something that's positive for everyone to watch okay so thank you to everyone who has been supporting us along the way thank you to those who are going to join us after you watch this video by subscribing keep following us on our Instagram at Traveling Trekkies keep following our Facebook channel at Traveling Trekkies our website is coming soon the URL is up but we just have to get the content up because we're not full-timers and we do work and so this is trying to balance our passion to do these things and also our actual regular life so thank you hit that thumbs up hit that subscribe button and spread the word Traveling Trekkies